Hi everyone, it's cocktail time. Fair warning though, this drink is very, very strong. I'm making the uh, martini, the Vespa martini from Casino Royale. Here is what you're gonna need. You need some Gordon's gin, because he specifies that. I've got Grey Goose vodka here, because my favorite. And I don't think he specifies the vodka he uses. Uh, I've got some Lille here. Technically, he requests Kino Lille, which doesn't exist anymore. Doing my research though, apparently it's more bitter than this, so I've got a few dashes of Angostura bitters to go in, and then a lemon to garnish. Let's do it. First things first, the cocktail connoisseurs among you may notice I'm about to shake this drink and not stir it. Now, technically, if you're gonna have a martini, you should stir it, not shake it, because when you shake, it makes little tiny ice crystals, and they don't last very long and your drink doesn't stay cool for very long. However, people can drink their drinks however they want them. And if they want the martini shaken, not stirred, as James Bond does, then that's the way I'm gonna make it. So here's what we need to do. First things first, you need 75 milliliters of your Gordon's gin. That is three shots worth, so quite a lot. Fifty. And 25 makes 75. Then you need 25 ml of your Grey Goose vodka. And then you need about 15 ml of your Lille. Now, just to let you know, this stuff is not easy to get. So any sort of dry vermouth will do. However, I did search high and low for it because I'm trying to make it as close to James Bond specifications as possible. In it goes and a few shots of Angostura bitters because as I mentioned, that is not actually the one he uses. He uses Kino Lille, which I can't find anywhere. I don't think they do it anymore. Um, apparently it's a little more bitter. So I'm gonna do a few dashes of this and then I'm gonna ice my shaker. At this point, I'm also gonna get my martini glass out of the fridge so it's nice and chill, ready to pour. Okay, we're gonna strain our martini into the glass. That is a generous helping. Wow, that's a lot of martini there. Right, to finish off, all we need to do is get a nice generous um, lemon peel going on. So what I'm gonna do is twist this above the drink just to release some of the fragrance and some of the oils. And then I'm gonna run it round the rim here. And then drop it in. And there we have one very large, very strong drink. This is the Vespa Martini, as requested by James Bond. So if it's good enough for him, then it's good enough for me. I love a martini, one of my favorite drinks. This is a bloody huge one, so cheers. Ooh, that's really good, but very, very strong. That's also a huge measurement, blimey. Oh, that is no joke, it's delicious, but you won't need much more than one of them. Anyway, if you fancy making one of these and you are of the right age and drink responsibly, then let me know. Show me on Instagram and Twitter um, and enjoy, but <laughs> just have like one, because they're very, very strong. Thank you very much and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.